let's take a look at lights in Mari next. So um, we have a light panel. So in my case, I haven't exposed it yet. So let's take this one and we get this light panel. So uh, we have an environment light where you can use HDR images and for uh, other lights. So um, if I take this one, for example, uh, I have to have shading enabled. So at least F2 or F3 with uh, specular contribution. So um, in my case here, you can turn off lights by these four, one, two, three, and four. So, um, and you have this position slider. You can um, kind of uh, rotate lights with this ball. And you have an on and off that's similar to just going up here. And you can fix it to the scene or by to the camera. So if camera, it's kind of it's kind of it's always locked from the same angle where you drag if you want this kind of um, angle all the time it's gonna be it's kind of point constrained to the camera or orient and point constrained um, let's take the scene so the intensity you can render shadows as well and um, that's something um, that can be overridden on a object basis. So if you, even if you have the render shadows on, and if your object has it turned off, so you have the cast shadows on the in, on the object. So if you turn it off, even if you have it on on the light, it's gonna be off there. So that's something that can be good to know. Uh, there is another option if if the shadows doesn't show up it might be in preferences so under GPU tab there is an option called depth projection so this is a depth projection so this has to be enabled for it to work if I would take this off a rendering of shadows wouldn't work either so that's something to have in mind color and you can tint the light, make it uh, yellowish. Let's make it yellow in both. And let's take uh, another light, turn off the shadows and make it bluish maybe. Like some kind of fake outdoor. Um, yeah, it's it's not the best light system in the world, but you you can get a sense of something. I usually uh, use the environment light the most actually when I do stuff. So this one is the environment light. So more chips with a few built-in HDRs some of them is okay some of them is is a little uh, um, doesn't have the best dynamic range to my liking uh, let's take this one it's quite okay and enable it so now it's gray it's dimmed it's not enabled so if we hit this one it enables it so you can pump the intensity. So you get a, a quick feedback. And if you wanna load your own HDRs, you can do it here in this, uh, with this uh, button there. So let's load an, an own uh, HDR. So let's take one. So, you, so I have uh, on my blog, the more channel, there's a bunch of HDRs you can download um, if you want to try try out some of mine. Um, let's see, uh, crush plan and global. 
HDR. Let's take a uh, let's take a um, indoor uh, winter ridge maybe. Oh no, not that one. That's too big. A uh, 4K. Uh, yeah, and um, on the actual environment light, you have this intensity slider fixed to scene or camera. So, camera is something I rarely use. Uh, I guess you can rotate it. Uh, to scene depends on what you uh, want to achieve uh, so <clears throat> you have the um, rotation the axis you can rotate it on different axes it's kind of funky I wish it had uh, some more levels of um, rotation than just on axis similar to these ones the actual lights but um, yeah, so we also have the ability to blur um, the background if you if it's into distracting, or you can just turn it off as well. So hide. Then it's just a light, and it's gonna be this gray background. So I guess with HDR it makes the most sense when you have a shader. So let's supply a AI standard and uh, set it to be something like a chrome thing, specular roughness and let's enable Fresnel so yeah so th then you, you can map your uh, channels and preview reflections and stuff with HDR uh, so that's what I usually use it for um what else yeah that's that's kind of uh it for uh for the lights um yeah you the resolution is um if i enable this is sixty four is the default so if i set this to five hundred twelve it's gonna calculate the reflection uh, not sure exactly if it is the, the quality of the reflection so when we it's gonna happen something here when it's finished it's gonna be a little better reflections let's switch yeah let's go back to so we can see that 512 gives a little more quality if you look at this area here if I switch it to 64 it's just gonna go blurred compared to 512 I guess it it's a little more taxing on your graphics card and your prestanda so that's something you have to have in mind um, yeah and you can also actually have a, a rotating light uh, it's gonna be really freaky if you paint you can set the speed you don't want to paint uh, when it looks like this. Uh, maybe uh, if you want to show off your model and your friend is going to be, whoa, what's going on? You set it to rotate. Uh, otherwise, have it on static. Yeah, that's, that's a little about lights in Mori. Thanks.